My name is Heather Swindell, and this is my investigative report for the Universal Decimal Classification System. What is the Universal Decimal Classification Schema, or UDC? UDC is the foremost interdisciplinary multilingual classification schema. It's also an indexing and retrieval tool. It was managed by the International Federation for Information and Documentation, or FID, from 1900 until 1992, when uh, FID banded together with the publishers of the Dutch, English, French, Japanese, and Spanish editions of UDC to form the UDC Consortium, and it's been managed by the consortium since 1992. It's updated annually. There are 70,000 subdivisions, and it operates both free and paid subscription online schedules. What is UDC? It's highly flexible for information in any medium. It uses a logical hierarchical arrangement and is analytico-synthetic. This means that individual UDC class marks can be used to build more complex expressions, like we use individual words in language to build sentences. You can readily use it uh, to incorporate new knowledge developments and fields into the existing structure. This makes it extremely flexible and it can just be added onto exponentially. It consists of Arabic numerals and common punctuation marks. This makes it really useful regardless of the user's language or script, which is probably why it's been published in whole or in part in over 40 languages and it's in use worldwide in bibliographic services, documentation centers, and libraries in approximately 130 countries. You can find the UDC number and the MARC records in the 080 field. And here we have UDC's hierarchical structure. The most innovative aspect of UDC is its ability to express, express relations between subjects, not just subjects themselves. Knowledge is divided into 10 classes, which are subdivided, and the subdivisions are subdivided, and those subdivisions are subdivided. So the numbers become very long and complex, and it's entirely possible due to the decimal notation. Unlike Dewey, you don't just use a decimal one time and you're done. Decimal notation is used after every third digit to break the numerical se sequence, which, as we've seen in Dewey Decimal, can be long and confusing to parse, especially when you have multiple concepts such as time, location, or geographical um, language, what, whatever the case may be. It can, it, can, it can become unwieldy. So you can separate the concepts into their respective parts more easily as a result. Syntactically, expressive decimal notation allows, allows you to build more complex expressions. As you can see in this example, um, we start with the class, class 5 notation of mathematics and natural sciences, and it gets all the way down into 539.120.811, which is Latisse QCD, or I would assume it's Latisse Quantum Chromodynamics. There are two kinds of tables in UDC. The first is the UDC main table. This is where we're talking about the, first, the 10 classes that the knowledge is subdivided into. You can see it's very similar to Dewey. We have science, philosophy, psychology, religion, theology, social sciences. Uh, number four is vacant. There's nothing there currently. Uh, we get into mathematics, natural sciences, applied sciences, medicine, technology, the arts, entertainment, sport, linguistics, literature, geography, and history. Uh, because there is so much emphasis on technology and science, this is probably the most pop one of the more popular classification schema for science and technology on an international level. Next, we have the UDC Common Auxiliary Tables. On the left, we have our common auxiliary signs, and on the right, we have our common auxiliary numbers. These are used to link 
two or more numbers and express the relationship between them. Common auxiliary numbers on the right represent notations such as place, text, language, and physical form of the object, and they can occur in almost any subject. UDC Online requires a paid subscription, but they do offer a free two-week trial period for users with an uncommon email account. This means not Yahoo and not Gmail, any, anything that's publicly accessible. You have to be an information professional or in school for library science. I had to use my USC email to request access, and it can take a few days to be approved. Once you log in, this is the home page that you see. UDC Online offers information on how to use the website. You can search or browse for a topic or a number. You can use a number builder, just like we were able to do um, in Dewey. Uh, you can use the ABC index, and it also offers an option for validation or parsing. You can search for numbers, and you can include limiters, such as exact match, include examples, and include canceled, or search for text with the limiter of exact match. You can click on the main tables to access by topic or explore the common auxiliary tables. Now we're going to get into some examples. The first example I pulled up uh, was an example of class 8 languages. I wanted to look at English as a literary language. So I look at class 8 which is the languages and literature classification. Language itself is 811. It has 103 subdivisions. You can see in this example the way different auxiliary signs are used to denote relationships between individual concepts. In the first example, 811 denotes language, 111 denotes the English language, and dash 26 denotes written languages literary languages. Here we have another example of polar bears. First we start uh, in the class 599.74 for carnivora. We get down into um, Ursidae with 599.744 and then we build on that limiting it down to Ursidae down to the genus, then we get down to brown bears, grizzly bears, and then we have polar bears at 599.744.212. So this tells us the type of animal that we're looking for and it narrows it down to polar bears specifically. It's an example of the hierarchical expression of UDC. Another example we have here ties in common concepts, multiple concepts. Um, we have polar bear, we have respiration and metabolism, and we have February. So for polar bear, it's 599.744.212 as we saw in the previous example. Respiration and metabolism is a special auxiliary number, 57.017.7. And then we get into February, which is in quotation marks as 327.502. This can be combined all together as 599.744.212.017.7, quotation mark, 327.502, quotation mark. This means polar bears, metabolism, and the month of February. As you can see on the right in the screen cap, each month in the solar or Julian Gregorian calendar has its own number and it does correspond to our monthly numbers when we do a shorthand date, you know, using one for January, two for February, three for March. Because UDC follows strict syntactic rules that apply to the entire system, it is easy to accurately deconstruct complex notations into individual concepts. On the website, if I was to click right here on this number, 
it would contend to it would continue expanding upwards until we got into the original class number so it is really easy to back backtrace your steps and figure out uh, how you got there and also see the log logical progression of classification it's extremely user friendly Well, these are all the examples that I have. If you have any questions, leave a comment on this thread. I'll be interested to hear what you guys think. Thank you for your time.